Can I first of all say, Christine, that the honours process is there to recognise people for extraordinary work. And it might be in their own daily jobs, but they have to be able to put into that daily job something that is so supremely different. And the honours are not just given out like confetti. They are a reward and recognition for extraordinary work. And whether that be a, a CBE, Commander of the British Empire, or it be a British Empire Medal, it is specifically recognising contribution to others through their work. Uh, we go out every six months in Gibraltar and ask people in Gibraltar to bring to my and the Honours Board attention people that they individually think have done that extraordinary work. You will never pitch too high. Putting in that citation alone gets that person recognition before the board. And that recognition before the board will take the board to a place that they can determine what we in Gibraltar should recommend for that person. So if somebody puts in a recommendation for a CBE and we recognise that it is not that level and will not be accepted by the palace, we will then put that nomination together for another award, which may be another state award, or in fact, even if it's not a state award, it will come out as recognition in some other format. We're very lucky in Gibraltar because we not only have the state awards, the CBE, OBE, MBE, BEM, we also have the wonderful, I think it's wonderful, the Gibraltar Award. The Gibraltar Award is unique in the overseas territories. It was formally approved by Her Majesty the Queen in 1954 to recognise people who've given extraordinary service to the community of Gibraltar to be awarded by the Governor on the advice of the Honours Board. So we can use that. We also have the other mechanism, which is of course the Governor's Award for Merit, which I instituted when I first got here, um, to recognise 24 people a year who do good works for the community. And the Mayor, bless him, has also instituted the Mayor's Award. So we have a range of awards open to people. But it would be wrong for me not to say that to receive a state award, the CBE, OBE, MBE, BEM and the GA are the ones that we're aiming to do, to give full recognition to the people who deserve it most. Well, interesting that you should point out that the awards are for people who've gone that extra mile. What would you say to criticism that people are rewarded for simply doing their jobs? I, I would disagree, um, if I may be so bold. Uh, the Honours Board here in Gibraltar is composed of eight different people from all different works of life. And when they judge the citations that come in, uh, they judge them on the basis of the criteria that are laid down for those awards. And in every case, they have to be doing something above and beyond. Now, it may be in your, your current job. It may be that Christine, Christine Vaquez comes out and works 24 hours a day. She's still doing her job but she's doing it 24 hours a day, which is benefiting the community of Gibraltar. So I wish to assure everybody that even if somebody's getting it for doing their job, they would not get it unless they've gone the extra mile beyond what is reasonably expected of them. Easier to get recognition if you're high profile, but are you hoping to out the secret heroes? I, I'm not sure that's correct either, Christine. I look back at the honours, and, and let me tell you this, the Gibraltar has had more state honours on, per capita than any other overseas territory. And in fact, Gibraltar, and I hope this never changes, per capita gets more state awards than anywhere in the United Kingdom. And to go on to the point you've just mentioned, uh, you only have to look back over the last few honours lists and the people who are not high profile. If I look back to the number of people who got it in the, for COVID help, the gentleman who got it for helping with the heart, heart conditions and looking after people with heart conditions, the two nurses that got it last time for helping directly in the management of COVID, uh, I can think of numerous cases where these are not people high in the public profile, but the people of Gibraltar have nominated them because they've done superb works 
at a really difficult time. And um, I can tell you that the Honours Board here in Gibraltar looks really carefully at finding those people who actually don't shout about it very much, they're good works to the community, uh, and that's what I've tried to do through the Governor's Award for Merit in particular, is to pick out those people who go about their daily lives doing good for the community without shouting about it. So I, I'm afraid I'm going to disagree with you again that uh, the Honours Board here works assiduously to find the people that deserve recognition.